Here we go. We got another one with Jelly Roll. She. Pardon my reaction. <laughs> ah. Ooh. Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. I've never actually listened to Jelly, Jelly Roll before. Um, so save me. Uh, I was, I was, we were kind of deciding, what are we going to do? What are we going to do today? And I was like, you know what? Jelly Roll. It's got a new song out about two weeks mm -hmm. ago. Uh, this guy's killing it. Killing it. Yeah. Uh, millions and millions and millions and millions of views. Save me was a huge song and you've yeah. never even heard it. Never heard it. Which is just incredibly crazy because it's uh it was a massive song. Uh, but this is new. She and, and don't get this wrong. I listen to music. I feel like every eh. fucking show we do, I'm like, oh, I don't know what that is. Mm. Well, to be fair, when we're doing the show, because we do listen to a lot we, of music, we try and, to listen to stuff we've literally never heard of before. Yeah, or not it, necessarily heard of. Like we've heard of the people, but we've never heard the song. There you go. And even if we may have heard some of the song, which we haven't done a lot of, but we may have heard the song, but never seen the video. Yeah. Uh, and that may be something we do later where we explore a little bit of the old stuff, where we know the song by heart and love it, but we've actually never seen the video because it was old and we didn't mm. see it. So either way, Jelly Roll, she, um, I've heard good things about the song. It's killing it. It's doing well already. Uh, and Jelly Roll, like I said, he did the Grand Ole Opry and he's, he's just out there. People know yeah. who he is now. And he's got that rap country vibe. He's got a he's got a really great voice, uh, a fantastic voice from everything I've heard. Uh, so I'm very excited about this. I'm curious. What what is she? Is this a lover situation? Is this a sad uh, one? Maybe. Is it a happy one? Like, but she will be my wife, or she will die. I don't know what's gonna happen. Before we get started, guys, go down, hit that like, hit the subscribe. Yes. There's a little link right up here. Hit that thing right there. Become a part of this. We're trying to make it grow. We just started a couple weeks ago. We're trying to make this as big as possible. Yes, absolutely. So we would love your support. And we'll make sure that every time we put a video out, you guys get that video. Because if you don't hit that notification bell, you ain't going to get it. Yep. Here we go. Jelly Roll. She. I just love the acoustic guitar. See the sunrise in her eyes. Awesome voice. Very good. For the cold November rain. I'm digging the reverse video. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, that's it, pretty cool. Yeah, seen it before. I, I've seen it before, but it's always I, awesome. I know I honestly didn't even really notice it that much until I seen the smoke going backwards. Yeah, but right off the bat, I love acoustic guitar. I love so far his voice. It sounds awesome. Yeah, it's what what makes country so great. Uh, because country, honestly, and I'm sure it was for a lot of people. I grew up with it. Like my parents liked it, uh, and I didn't really like it. I just I was a metal guy, and I was like, "Fuck country." Uh, yeah. And then you get older, you become an adult, and obviously, this is kind of a new era of country. What Jelly Roll is doing, and it's great. Uh, but you you learn to appreciate it in a much different way because yeah. to me, it's very real music, uh, and a lot of times, it's very cut down and it's very raw and emotional. And I can tell you right now, um, I know he does a lot of fun songs and stuff too, but this song seems like it may have some good lyrics. So I definitely want to pay attention to not only the video, which already looks great, but what does this song mean? She. Like that, yeah. that, that to me is like such a very broad title that I'm not sure what it means, but I'm at, we're at a hospital here. So yeah. that's not a great thing. So no. let's hear what he has to say and see what's going on in the video. Her eyes. For the cold November rain And if you only knew her smile you never know that she's in pain Nobody ever saw mm -hmm. it coming Face It comes started in. with a little pill uh -oh. One thing led to another Okay, pause it real quick, please. So I, I'm it's assuming pills. it's about a drug overdose. Yeah, or something. I mean, listen, he's, he's saying you know it started with this uh, like a single pill, like a and I, I, I always paraphrase because I don't know. You know, we just hear it right now. So, but he says a pill, and basically it all went down from downhill from there. Yeah. Uh, and if you saw her smile, you know, you wouldn't realize what she's been through or what she's go going through. Uh, and I think a lot of people can relate to that, you know, whether it's uh, people you know, family, oh, or yeah. even actors for that. I, I think every, I think 
if you if you haven't personally dealt with anybody that's dealt with anything similar, mm. you know somebody who has. Yeah. Um Yeah, man. Actually, you know, like in high school, we uh we do the main show part of my American podcast. Greg and myself had a couple friends who um went down some dark paths, man. It started with the pills. Uh Yeah. And uh fortunately for our our closest friends, they they were able to out, you know, beat that, if you will, and uh come out much better people. Um, but for a lot of people, that's not the outcome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not the outcome. And so I, I will say about the song though, right off the bat, as soon as the bass came in, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. It, he almost, he did like a slide to come in and that almost gave you kind of chills. Yeah. 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 Um, it, it, this is going to be a fun one. And, uh, a lot of times we were right into the music where it's yes, you know, and you're, yeah. you're kind of taking the whole thing in as a whole package. And it's this one's tougher for me because there's a piece of me that really wants to see what the video has to do, but I'm also really trying to focus on what he's saying because I think this is a very yeah. lyrical song. I feel like when it comes to music and lyrics, uh, this style of country, it's not even like the mainstream country, but the this style of country music is one of the few kinds of artists that their songs still tell a story. Yeah, he falls in the category. A lot of people put him in with um, like uh, Adam Calhoun and uh, uh, Up Church and those kind of that those kind of newer age like yeah. the hip hop sort of ish, but it's country and it's like a it's a it's a sub genre and a lot of people feel like they don't get a lot of respect. Uh, Jelly Roll to me is uh, like I said, he's been doing some amazing things. So either way, uh, let's back this up just a tad uh, because I, I'm, I'm I definitely want to feel this uh, for sure. Led to another Since then it's all been down here She was the life of the party She was the one everybody Used to want to hang around I bet they wonder where she is now I wish I would have known Before she was too far gone I'm afraid to lose her now of coming down Ooh. very yeah. good chorus the, yeah. the, that was impactful that in cor- that chorus was like the way it, it came in and had the shh yeah it, ha- it had multiple interest I- instruments going at the same time the gu- the guitars came in full force and the way that sounded was honestly beautiful yeah it was it was really nice and um yeah, I mean, this one's a touchy one, dude, for sure, for I think we're a lot of people. It's basically saying, and, th- and, th- and, th- and this is the unfortunate thing w- when it comes to, like, the drugs and stuff. And and, and I'm very lucky that in my modern life, uh, you know, just my adult life, uh, I just, I, I'm not around people who um, have these issues. And, and that's partly because I'm very selective with my friends. Uh, yeah. and, and, you know, I, I, we don't hang out with a ton of people, and we just don't want to be around that kind of stuff. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, is a lot of times the people that get uh, hooked on stuff or have a lot of problems with this are the fun ones, are the ones that you like looked up to or thought was thought were awesome or yeah. were the life of the party. And, and they're battling some demons. They're inside. battling demons, or they, you know, the party life it can take you down weird paths, man. I mean, we we've all partied, uh, and some people take it too far, and, and, it, and it takes a hold of their life. And then um, some people, you know, like I've done stuff, uh, and, and um, I think a lot of people do. But I knew, like, yeah, I'll try it, and then you move on, you know. And, but some people can't move on, and and I, I think the the big thing about songs like this is, like I said before, there at some point in the song, everyone that listens to it can relate to it in some way or another, mm-hmm. and they can uh, attribute that feeling to someone they knew or 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 someone that was close to them that had been through some shit. And I feel like this kind of stuff, I mean, even if it didn't impact you directly, because you knew of situations mm. like that, you have kind of a soft spot for it. Well, we got the opioid uh, epidemic right yeah. now. And so there's a lot of people doing this. And that last line before we stopped there was just, uh, and she doesn't want to come down. And, you know, just <laughs> what experience I have with it, you know, watching like intervention, obviously it's not, I haven't really seen it in person, but I did have a band member who was, who was doing some stuff and, the hardest part for people is when they're coming down from a drug, they don't want to because they get sick um, and, and they, they feel like they're losing control and they need that bump to kind of keep them alive in their eyes. 
And so that last line, I'm sure we'll hear it here again in a second. We'll back it up a second here. But that last line where it says, and she doesn't want to come down, uh, you know, that's – man, he's spitting some real heavy. shit, though. Yeah, it is heavy. Yeah. It is heavy. I don't know who he's talking about, and I'm sure we'll hear it. Uh, but let's let's go here, man. He was the one everybody used to want to hang around. I bet they wonder where she is now. I wish I would have known before she was too far gone. I'm afraid to lose her now. She's afraid of coming down. I know that it'll take some time But I'm scared there might be something that we don't got Now everybody knows there's something They see the writing on the wall And she feels like she's flying While we're all watching her fall yeah, possibly. Yeah. Ah, so, yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. I'll say this. Um, I know that feeling. I I feel like a lot of people that have watched this know that too. When you see a loved one or you see a friend and they're playing it like everything's fine mm. and you know it's oh. and you know it's not. You you can tell that something is off, but they're just they're kind of faking their way through life. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, well, first, you know, uh, yeah. First, the like the way that this movie reverses back from entering the hospital, we're actually exiting because they're reversing it. But yeah, from the point of her showing up to the hospital, and now we're back at the house where the EMTs are finding her. Uh, you know, and this is a scene that like nobody wants to. You know, you never like as a parent now. Like the 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 worst nightmare, obviously, is your children uh, going before you. Uh, second one would be watching them suffering uh, through an addiction, uh, and you know, and even the best parents in the world have children that that have issues. You know, what I'm saying like they just get wrapped up in the wrong shit. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you know, I remember uh, when my when my buddy had uh, and and. You know, we, we had a couple of friends that were on pills and stuff. I, I remember how, like, he was always like, dude, I'm good. Like, bro, like, chill out. You know what I mean? Like, because we'd be like, bro, like, yeah. what are you doing right now? And there got to a point where I went to, because I was close with his dad. And I remember going up to his dad. We used to, I used to spend the night at his house all the time. And I remember going to his house and I told his dad uh, when he was outside, he was doing something. But I told his dad, I was like, your son's addicted to pills. A and, like, you don't, I don't know that you know that, but he is. And it's really bad. And then uh, he basically told me to fuck off. I mean, he just told me, like, I don't want to fucking talk. I can't believe you told my dad. And I'm like, you know what? You're, you don't listen, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you're not listening to people that are concerned for you. And uh, he ended up calling me years, quite a while down the road, and just saying um, you know, that he apologized and shit and that he forgave me. He understood. But at the time, it was tough, man, because I knew, like, if I say something, he knows, like, we're, we're not friends anymore. But at the end of the day, I don't want to see him die. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No one wants to see somebody yeah. die and just see them, and you know, lying about their life they're they're that whole flying high she's flying high while we see her fall how many of you have felt that like chris said how many of you yeah. felt that most people have felt that well yeah at some and, point. and it's not even if it's not drugs or pills or anything people have seen that with people that they care about amongst a lot of things whether it's emotional distress or depression or anything like yeah. that like i had a buddy that i grew up uh, racing dirt bikes with and he was dealing with some stuff, and then all of a sudden, one day, I had was having a beer with him, and then a week later, he wasn't around anymore. That's cr crazy. Dude. And you know that, sadly, that kind of shit happens all the time. And <laughs> I, I don't know. I yeah. Mean, just yeah, man. Uh, it's a very emotional song. Sorry uh, to chat with you guys, but you know they just <laughs> listen. I know for a fact Jelly Roll makes music so that people have these conversations. Exactly, and, uh, and you know put things into we we'll go on about our lives, but there are people struggling, man, and uh, dealing with this kind of shit, and it's it's very, very sad and unfortunate. So I'm still curious on who this is. Yeah, uh, in the video, but well done video and great voice, man. So let's, far, let's keep going. Now everybody knows it's something. They see the writing on the wall Cause she feels like she's flying While we're all watching her fall
That mm. part was very big, dude. Yeah, I got a little goosebumps there, honestly. <laughs> like that that came in at the perfect time of the song and it, it hit the perfect notes. And it, it's one of those pieces, especially during an emotional song like this, when it, it, it peaks at the right time and hits the right spot in your heart. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's relatable. And there's I mean, there's you know, in some form or another, it's relatable. I, and I'm curious where this is going because I the scene here where she's walking around, yeah, you know, went and back. It, and, it's and, going and, back and forth between when she's presenting herself to other people and then yeah. when she's alone. Well, to me, it's almost like she's remembering that she was the life of the party, that she was uh, this beautiful young woman, and she everybody liked her, and she was mm. fun to be around. She's kind yeah. of because it shows her in bed, and and it's almost like she's dreaming this. And I hope because uh, right before we stop, she kind of pops out of bed and grabs her phone. And, and I'm curious if that's like the beginning of where it all starts or is it, was it a dream? And she's like, fuck, I need to quit doing it. Like, where does it go from here? But I mean, that's the truth. There's, there's these people who are, um, you just don't know, man. You don't know just based off of somebody's looks and how they present themselves in public or, um, you know, you, you just, you got acquaintances that you see at parties. Yeah. You just never know like what's, what somebody's battling. And what they're dealing with. Yeah, you never know what they're going through mentally. No, man. It's like it's like the Robin Williams thing, bro. It's like no one ever would have thought that that guy was depressed. I mean, it was Robin Williams. And it's like yeah, one that's of the funniest obviously, guys uh, on the planet. Yeah, that's a celebrity. But I'm just saying, you've, I've been to parties where um, you know p- kids were just having a blast, man. And, and you come to find out they were hooked on drugs or they were massively depressed and, and committed suicide or something. And you're just like, fuck. Yeah. They, were, they were like that? Like, I, no, I would have never known. Yeah. Uh, and, and so, yeah, I mean, struggles are real in this world, man, for sure. So I want to see how this how this plays out at the end here and what what they do. It's very driving. Yeah. It, very good at building the emotion even more. I feel like this is a dream. She's afraid of coming down. Hello, thank you for calling the Substance Abuse and yes. Mental Health Services uh-huh. Administration's National Helpline for information on treatment and recovery support services. <sighs> Dude, that's that's amazing right there. So um the video says no one is too far gone for help. Call one 800 662 help Um that was a heavy video, man. Yeah, dude. Uh, I, I, I'll say this, man. I am like, everybody's lives are tough in, in one way or another, man. Whether it's financially, addiction, uh, the way you were raised, assault situations, wh- whatever it may be. Everybody has their own story. And uh, I've always considered myself uh, very thankful that like, I never went down a path um, that could have could have led me into a situation where I was uh, an addict. Yeah. Um, because that is like, uh, you know, from a person who has not been, I, I'm addicted to nicotine pouches. You know, that's my thing. Um, but if for a person who just has never been addicted to drugs or has, uh, you know, been fortunately too afraid to even touch that shit in a lot of ways, um, I just feel like f- from an outside perspective, when I see that, that it's just got such a hard thing to have to watch because um it's a slow process in, in a lot of ways obviously like sometimes it's quick but i'm just saying there's it's a situation where you see it happen over years yeah and you see a withering over years yeah the same i mean the same i mean the, there's a lot of instances where there were clear opportunities for me to take a different turn in life than i did mm-hmm. and fortunately i had whether it be a, just a, a good head on my shoulders or, you know, m- different kind of moral, morals instilled in me, whatever it was, I made a different decision. And that happened quite a bit during my life, and I'm sure it yeah. has during a lot of people's lives, where there are just really bad things that end up happening along the way, yeah. and luckily you are you turned out the better. Yeah, and my dad, uh, you know, not to be all too personal here, but my dad's had some, you know, substance issues in the past, long, long, long time ago, and uh, you know, you see those things, and and my mom was amazing; she is amazing, 
Uh, my dad's amazing, honestly. He's turned his life completely around. But you see those things and you just, uh, some people gravitate towards it. My older brother is um, a f- fucking train wreck, dude. Yeah. He's an absolute train wreck. He just had so many issues and addiction problems. And then uh, me and my brother have not. And, and sometimes you get lucky and you have people that just go, man, I don't, I see people and I don't want to be, a, I don't want to be that. And you don't. Sometimes you're in the life and you have no escape from the people like that and you join in. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm thankful that I was, uh, that I'm not that way. And I'm thankful to have a mom who, uh, you know, guided me through that stuff. But the, the harsh reality is um, the opi- opioid problem is a huge problem uh, in this country. And uh, there's far too many people dealing with this. Yeah. And, and, and uh, if you do have a problem, that number that we just talked about on that video, um, please do that. Yeah. It's the same with me. I mean, I have uh, multiple family members dealing with that stuff. Uh, I've lost people in my family. I've lost relationships in my in my family because of it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and friends. So, I mean, if anyone is ever having any kind of issues or th- think someone you know is having an issue do do whatever you can and don't be afraid to actually say something yeah it's worth it's worth trying to lose i mean it's worth losing a friendship over and i know that sounds weird but it's worth going out of your way even if they end up hating you for it they will thank you down the road because at the end of the day them being on this earth still is more important than your your relationship yeah and so um sometimes those are tough sometimes people give in to those people and they let them do what they're doing because they don't want to lose them. They don't want to like make them upset. But at the end of the day, we want healthy people, man. You want your, you want your family and friends healthy and vibrant and there for your shit, you know? And, uh, so do whatever you have to, to get them to get help. Yeah. So, uh, it was a great video, man. That was a good job. Video. Jelly yeah. roll. She, I mean, that was emotional. Yeah, man. Uh, uh guys, yeah. uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, hit like, that like, like, subscribe. subscribe. Let help us grow this channel. Not the same energy as normal. Yeah, uh, guys. Normally we're <laughs> we're hopping around, we're enjoying it. But hey, you know what? You're like, uh, for the good times in life, there's bad times too. And this song was an amazing song about a tough story, and that's part of life, man. Hey, so, you know what? To to grow in this world, you got to take the good and the bad. Absolutely. Um, and guys, if you, if you need help, there's a number on that video. Call it. Get it. Get it taken care of, man. You can beat it. Everybody can beat it. 